And we're back here on another episode of Reasonably Hyped. I'm Carlos Macias, and we also have the King of Mid Bay himself, Deo Blas. Thank you for joining me, sir. Good to be back. Good to have Reasonably Hyped back on the air. Well, you know what? The other guys are playing hooky, so this is this is what we got. <laughs> this is what we got. I, they're dealing with cool stuff. Nothing. They stuff they're wrong. still alive. Let's just put it out that they're still alive. I, I would say that. that you are the most consistent member because. All of us like sometimes are like we got stuff going yeah. on, but which is Car- perfect. Carlos hold it down. Which is perfectly fine. Look, I just appreciate you guys joining me when you can. I it's kind of my thing. The I, I should feel all the pressure. I should all the weight should be on me. You guys should just be able to come on and just kind of have a little bit of fun, have your drink. That's one of the things I do. Uh, I don't get upset, but I'm like. I, I gotta be sober, man. I gotta be sober to handle it. While Deo and Luis are kind of like, you know, having nice yeah. little drinks or whatever. I'm kind of like, oh, yeah. okay, what else? That's cool. <laughs> I think I did it once for one of like uh, Dalen's, uh, like, you know, we did a, he does a scene. Tip. Tip. And yeah. I'm like, this is beautiful, man. I love it. But even then, my brain is a little broken and, and doesn't let him take over 100%. But I gotta let him. I gotta let him. Anyways, look, we'll get into uh, this. Uh, it's like we're recording a salient points right now. Uh, we'll get right into it. Um, the big thing in the last couple of days, of course, is that Xbox finally decided what they're going to do with Xbox Gold uh, Live, and they're going to do away with it, but not completely. They're still going to gate, you know, into, you know, gate the, what is it called? The the internet right they're still gonna be like well you still gotta pay for it it's not free like it is on pc or for most titles um but yeah they finally said it's gonna be xbox core um and i'll i'll i'll, I'll give it to you uh deo as far as like what what are some of the kind of like a little bit of the details of the core you know maybe how it compared to gold in previous right times. it's it's pretty similar to what you have right now at xbox live gold they're doing away completely with the xbox live moniker of the whole entire service so now everything is just game pass so you have Game Pass Core, there's Game Pass Console, and then there's Game Pass PC, and then Game Pass Ultimate. Uh, Core is just like, it, the only thing that changed with Core is just the naming. So if you have like your normal, you know, vanilla Xbox Live Gold membership, it just changes over to Core. That's it. <laughs> Not only that, but they brought back the, um, that, so, so no price changes have happened, but they also brought back the, I think it's the $60 or $70 per year option if you want to prepay for the entire year. They had done away with do that, that option before? They, they did. They did. Okay, interesting. Got rid of it. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So, which was kind of weird. I think that was like a year and a half ago. Okay. Something like that. So, that's why people were like spending heck of money off of like cards and everything. Yeah, because yeah, you get, well, now that. you'll be able to sort of get deals. That's how I do the PlayStation one, right? It's like you get a exactly. year, that's how I do but you get a yeah. deal on it, right? Um, no. But, you know, one of the big things is, is, of course, they're not doing games with gold anymore, which is, I got to be honest, they were kind of trash. I don't know if they were trash. Let's, let's, let me not say that. I don't know if they were trash games. Mm-hmm. They were just not very exciting, right? It's not like what you get no. with PlayStation where, like, we're going to give you Last of Us. We're going to give you NBA 2K. Sometimes they're older, right, on PlayStation, but they're like, oh, I haven't tried this. I want to try. But games with gold, it's like, I don't think I remember the last time I even, like, try to game claim one of those games but what they're doing now is like they're gonna have about 24 games so it kind of reminds me of like the playstation 5 collection when they yes. and i know they did away they with that, that right yeah. correct yes yeah so they'll have a they have a selection of like 24 hand-picked titles or something and they did say that this 24 uh roster of games or whatever like that will change over time so some of them might go away some might come back some might change or whatever so but it's it's exactly like that whole playstation collection but they're already starting a little whack i know i i shared it in, in in one of the chats that we have and i like how my buddy abel was like I was like, these guys are excited about Among Us, a free ass mobile game. Like they're throwing it in there as if they're giving us this amazing game. I was like, okay, yeah. on console, yeah. it's a little different, but but yes, I mean, I guess they're giving us Among Us on console as part of the Xbox Core. Um, are you, so you you're what do you, I I mean I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. It seems like very like it's just a name change. They didn't want to give out any games with gold a simple stuff. name change. Yeah, yeah, games with gold was like kind of I think I honestly think it's more of like a PR move at mm-hmm. this point because games Xbox Live like they it's kind of confusing if you're like a consumer trying to get in there if you read the if you go to the website right now and go to xbox.com and see like okay if i were to do a subscription service like there's xbox live gold there's xbox game pass there's like xbox game pass console Mm. and pc it's super confusing yeah but if they do it this way it's a little bit more simplified um but they had to get rid of the xbox live 
you know, title. Oh, somehow. Of it. That's really what somehow. it is. It's a rebranding, yeah. right? It's a rebranding. It's a rebranding. Not only that, but like, since, like you were saying earlier, is that those Xbox Live games uh, that were free every month, they're kind of, you know, ish. So, like, it's kind of like a negative thing that they want to distance themselves from, yeah. which is perfectly fine because if they offer these 24 games at any given time, sure, why not? I just don't think it's right how they separate some of the. <laughs> parts of the service from yeah. a lot of these gaming tiers because ultimately they want you to subscribe to game pass ultimate yeah which yeah. that that's the deal and, and, and but i mean i i think you you kind of you know you figured that out or you know it's core you know this is the basic level basic. and then vanilla. ultimate and it's a vanilla and then this is ultimate because they didn't change it to like oh this is an awesome name it's like no we're trying to make it basic it's not gold it's not weird no. it's not like what is gold what is ultimate now it's like look this is core this is the, the basic stuff it's kind of what the uh, playstation did right with essential exactly. it, essential yeah. is basically the synonym of core right it's like this is the most basic thing you can get what you really want is the mm. plus the preem what you really want is the ultimate you really want the most extreme thing so um yeah so they did that and you know in other news uh this is kind of a big deal we talked about it a little bit of a, off a wax, off wax so i kind of want to hear your thoughts here officially uh but uh yeah major nelson larry herb after 22 years is is leaving uh microsoft specifically kind of like the xbox division right um but uh you know going back to like when we first were like being blown away with Halo 2. Halo 2 is going to go online. And it's like this guy kind of, I, I think maybe more during the 360 era, right? But it maybe during even like sort of like when Xbox Live was first coming out. But definitely during the 360 era, he's like, oh, Larry, Larry's going to give me news. He's going to give me an update. When, when we were so hyped about Xbox, right? When PlayStation 3 was like, they want me to get a second job and I'm not going to do it. That's right. why we're so hyped about the 360. Larry Herb was there. So after so many years, Dale, you kind of gave me a little bit of preview, but but how do you feel, man? Let the people know how you feel about Major Like, d deleting Xbox Live title and then getting rid of Larry Herb is just like the end of an era. Like, that was the whole deal. Like, he was yeah. there since the beginning. He's, I think, the longest running, like, how do you say that? Like, video game host of a platform out of all of them. So he's kind of, like, synonymous yeah. with that old school, like, Xbox Live uh, version 1.0, if you will, and version 2.0 when the everything hit on at 360. So like, I don't know. It's it's super sad, and I and I kind of, but I kind of get from a business standpoint. Like I said, they're trying to rebrand everything, and they're kind of put their past behind. Like and yeah. Larry Herb was kind of that kind of thing. So they want to move on to different kinds of how do you say talent and a more youthful look for the brand. So yeah. I kind of get it, but I love Larry Herb. That guy was legit. Yeah, it's interesting you put it kind of that way and you would hope that Microsoft isn't like that callous that they're like, all right, look, Larry, oh, we know no, you're are. leaving. Oh, I, I think it's just, it's just like more of a coincidence, right? It was like, I don't know, at the end of his contract or whatever. And then simultaneously, Microsoft wants to rebrand. But but it's interesting that you put And I, I mean, I don't know, you know, he was big during the 360 because it was huge. It was like they're trying to bring the internet to your house. They're trying to bring video through through you know internet, fast internet. I know the young kids don't understand. They barely know a world without internet, but they definitely probably don't even remember like slow internet, right? So this this was the 360 was coming around. They had really pushed it with Xbox. They're like, we're only gonna do fast internet and Ethernet cable. And with the 360, like we're bringing you TV, we're bringing you video, and you're like, yes, Larry Herb, give me the next up update to xbox games arcade you know like you wanted to yeah. know the live arcade or whatever situation like yes larry's gonna tell me more but lately i don't know if it's been and i you know i don't know if this is why he's leaving right or anything like that but i don't you know i don't really kept up too much but he's definitely like he was a big part of xbox and xbox live and 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 halo and all this stuff like you were like looking forward to like what is larry herb mr major nelson have to say right yeah um, like he had really good recommendations for like like the xbox live arcade he was always always playing like this new stuff or he had like tips and tricks on how to like for like better your experience on the xbox platform and xbox live itself so yeah he was he was a phenomenal 
yeah. person to have under their wing. So I, yeah. I appreciate what he did, man. He's a little bit of a legend, right? And I, I don't think, uh, you know, PlayStation and Nintendo have really... I think the la- maybe Nintendo closer with Satoru Iwata, you know, but then, you know, he kind of... Yeah you know passed away and and uh, but it's hard it's hard i think getting like these personalities right it's a right. you know the only guy that you can maybe phil spencer but he's more on the executive side and and that kind of thing so it, it's interesting i don't know if we keep getting yeah. more personalities you know? yeah larry was definitely more like down to earth he was kind of like your uncle or something that wanted to show you cool <laughs> stuff all the time and yeah like, yeah maybe that's that- maybe that's what it was he fit in that like weird middle ground of it's like he's obviously a marketing arm he's obviously advertising to me but you know what he seems genuine he seems like he seems Super like genuine. a good, he seems like a good guy he seems like a, you know I, I could kick back a, a few drinks with them you know and uh but uh, yeah anyways larry larry herb uh major nelson after 22 years he's leaving uh, xbox so uh we wish him luck with his next ventures uh and that's been another episode of sailing uh reasonably hyped see i almost reasonably forgot hyped. where we were i almost forgot where we were for a second um carlos macias uh thank you for joining us i'll uh, see you guys next week we might have i think you know what the next thing might be a Final Fantasy 16 reasonable uh, uh, spoiler cast, maybe potentially. Ooh. We'll see if I can convince mm-hmm. Dalen. So look forward to that. Dale, <laughs> what you're saying is you're almost done with Final Fantasy 16. You're you'll join Heck us. Heck no, I haven't started anything of that. It's so I'm long. Still on Persona Five. It, it's <laughs> it's it's long. It's funny that it's so long, but it's like so long for like me that I work. You know, I'm I'm gone mm-hmm. for like half the day, right? I'm working and stuff, so it takes me forever to beat games. And I'm close to platinum it. I'm, I'm that close. That's how much I kind of like it, or how good the trophy. It's I think sometimes it's good trophy design, and I can't believe how I some of these like games that. are. Some games no. are just terrible, man. No. It's like why? Like, mm-hmm. do you guys are whack? Have you not learned? trophy design uh but anyways we might have a spoiler cast but if, if not we'll see you guys next week for salient points dale bloss the king of mid bay thank you sir for joining me thank you carlos latest